Okay, guys. Um, back on the uh, sorry, the mini one. I'm just pulling the uh, spark plugs out just to because uh, I want to do a double, triple check of the um, the timing. And uh, uh, interesting. I don't service cars much. It's not my job. But two of these spark plugs didn't even feel they were tight, like they were tight. Um, first two. Second two um, felt better, but yeah, not great. Pretty shocking. Um, so I'm gonna just pull this out. Some of them are quite full of oil down here as well, which is, um, I'm sure not. Eee. Oh, that's disgusting. That one's not quite out yet. That one's not quite loose either. There we go. Quite, quite carboned up as well. These things. I might have to get some new ones. I think. <clears throat> oh, there's one clean one, ish. If you can have a quick look, you probably want to see. I don't have a torch in there, unfortunately. See what you can see. No, you really can't see much, but um, you may see. Uh, so you can see silver in those. These two, yeah, you can see a little bit in there now. That one's pitch black. Anyway, we're going to clean those up, try and clean that up as best we can. Okay guys, um, checking the timing. Uh, we've already gone through what I what I did to, to check the timing before, but we're gonna double check everything. So, got four pieces of wire, all the same length, and we're just gonna drop them in. Make sure they actually go down through the spark plug hole and don't just sit on the spark plug hole, so. Just remember the locking pin is in place at the moment, so. Um, Slightly out. Oh no, that's just the way it's sitting. That one looks fine with that one. Um, let's check these two here against each other. Oop, I don't know what you're seeing, because I'm not looking at that, I'm looking at the wires. They look about right. They... Oi. <coughs> look right as well. Okay, good. So, we're in time on the crank. Pins in. All the pistons are at the same height. So that's the crank locked in. Cams are both locked in with the um, letters pointing up. So we're good now to start talking down um, all of the components in the engine and for the timing chain. So we're going to get in and do that. Uh, one thing I want to do is get the, the tensioner, the pre-tensioner bolt in the, in the kit that helps you pre-tension this as you, um, when you do up the bolts holding this in place so we're going to get that in place uh now the torque wrench i have i think it wants like 0.6 or 0.9 torque or something on um the pretensioner now that's not really going to do that for me so we'll, we'll we'll see i think it does go down almost to zero but um you know this this one here but I mean, it, it says it kind of says on the instructions that it goes from 20 up but um, as you, you probably see on there that's gone right down and with the dial here this is actually sitting at 9 at the moment because I started at 20 and I went back 11 uh, because that's what the sump, sump needs um, but obviously I can't put the sump on yet so I'll see how much further this goes back. Uh, I don't think it quite reaches zero, but um, anyway, we'll see. So that's the next thing. Start tightening everything up. Start putting everything back in place. Um, we've got the, the new sump gasket here, proper one, not silicon. We've got the oil seal. Should all be a nice and good. And yeah, then we can start putting this back together. So we're gonna get jack stand underneath. We're going to pull the jack, the, the trolley jack out, come around to help support the engine. 
while we take it back off the engine mount, move everything out of the way and uh, get back into this. Okay guys, um, just starting at the top, we checked all the wires, we're, so we're not at top dead centre, we're at even point with all the pistons, um, cams are locked in place uh, with the adjustment to the cam locking mechanism. The chains in, the guide locks are kind of, they're not in tight tight, they're in finger tight, so, um, but that's all in nice, uh, no, nothing's done up tight at the moment. As you can see down here, everything looks um, nicely aligned, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the oil seal in there now, and um, then we're going to put, start putting everything back together and try and tighten everything down. Okay guys, uh, I think we're good. Tops in, 20 newton meters, plus 90, 50, 50, 51 newton meters down the bottom, plus 100 degrees. Here's some interesting varying reports on that sort of stuff, but there you go. I've taken the tension out, I'm gonna just do up, um, double check these, I think I missed the washer out of that, I've got to pull that out, so I've um, got a little bit of slack in the chain. So I'll put those back in, then I'll pop the tensioner back in, we'll pop all the timing out and get this thing back together. Bye. 
Morning guys. Well, it's afternoon. I had a bit of a lazy morning. So we've got pretty much everything wrapped up yesterday, but what we're gonna do now, start putting a few things back together. So in the process of putting in um, all the inlet system, um, the air filter, etc. So we're just gonna start putting all that back together and uh, hopefully we're gonna try and uh, see if this thing uh, will still run after I've been playing with it. Anyway, we're gonna put you up on time lapse somewhere and uh, you can watch the rest of it. There won't be too much to see. I'll try and maybe put the camera over this side so you can see, but you will probably just see lots of me, arms and legs sort of flying in the air as I try and reach awkward angles to do things up. But anyway, we'll keep going. but there's an engine light on <laughs> okay guys um, time to check the mini R56 mini and to see what issues there might be so using this device um, this is the actual box not a bad little thing. Um, so we're just pop this in. That's underneath here on the driver's side. You can see there's a cover for it. And so just up here, somewhere. I think there we go. Yep, that's in. Now we'll turn the car on. Not start it. Just turn it on. So key in. Hit the button but not fit on the brake. And then that should power up the device. And then what we do is into the phone and it'll be linked. We'll actually, we'll just check Bluetooth and make sure that we have a connection. ODB link is connected. Look, there we go. Perfect, let's pick that up. Fire up this. Okay guys, um, I thought I may have been doing something wrong. I didn't have the car on properly, um, so hence, right, we've looked some code, looked it up now, got some codes here. <laughs> type powertrain, status been ECU, type powertrain. Right guys, I'm gonna cut this video short here for the moment. It is getting long and um, the case of this Mini was starting to get interesting. So 
what had happened is uh, I had uh, I hadn't disconnected the battery from the moment I started taking it apart, and obviously I started unplugging things. So, what happened is when I first plugged in the ODB link, uh, there were a number of faults which I cleared, and then the the mini seemed to run fine. I then took it for a test drive, and it seemed fine; everything was going well. But when I get uh, got to the end of the road where I was testing it, turn around and um, took my foot off the accelerator, so, so the rev dropped. The engine pretty much cut out, so I left it there for a minute. Managed to fire it back up. Managed to get home. The um, uh, errors you're getting is same sort of thing. It's just the, the the revs just don't want to settle. And looking into this is a number of issues that possibly could be related to, and it's all related to timing. So um, I literally took the whole thing apart again and triple checked everything. There was nothing wrong with the way the timing chain had been put in. There was nothing wrong. There's no slippage. There was nothing going on there. So I rang the client and um, and just asked, you know, what had happened? Because when this car came to me, uh, it was literally come in, can you please replace the timing chain? Uh, which obviously we've done. So uh, the client had been out for a drive, had had issues um, with the uh, revs, and it had, um, it had ended up conking out. So he'd called out someone who had heard the rattle and said, ah, it must be the timing chain. Which, of course, well, you know, you've seen how bad the, the case the timing chain was, so that needed to be replaced, absolutely. But there was a secondary fault here. The, there was another fault that was going occurring. So what we've done is, uh, using the ODB link, uh, we've, doubled, we've done a number of tests now, and uh, the issues seem to be with bank one. So one of the things could be, you know, do we check the solenoids, maybe just move those around. But... There's another fault that comes up, and it's the uh, n no voltage in the Vanos motor, so um, or VVT actuator, whatever people want to call it. But basically, it's the motor on the right-hand side of the engine or the near side of the car um, that actually um, rotates the um, bank one camshaft. So what we've done since then is we've checked the fuse for that we've checked we've swapped the relay for that for another one um, there was um, there's a relay which is very similar on the windscreen wipers so we swapped those around um, car seemed to be okay so um, it was driven again for a little bit but unfortunately again has stopped so what we've done now is we've ordered another uh, motor um, and hopefully that'll be coming in in soon so we'll continue on with this um, puzzle um, and see where we get to but um, for this video that's going to be the end of that and um, hopefully we'll do one final one where we fingers crossed we work out what's going on with this vehicle um, once we've checked that motor out hopefully that's spinning all right then um, yeah fingers crossed that there's nothing else right thanks very much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next episode cheers for now